Hi friends! Welcome or welcome back to Uttara Srini Kitchen, the language of good food. If you're watching our channel for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. In today's video, we're going to share our experience in setting up a raised bed for our vegetables and fruits. As you can see over here, this is our existing garden. We have been using this garden for about six years and every time we plant, we have bunnies and beavers enjoying our hard work. When I say enjoying, I mean destroying our very hard work. We got tired of this, so we decided to transfer this into a beautiful raised bed garden with fencing. Here we have some leaf mulch from fall. We will use this later, so let's first begin by removing all of this, and let's save it later. We have chosen our location, and we are going to use marking paint to mark the area. We're doing this so that the fence posts can be on the exact same line. We have pounded some fence T posts in the ground to run our fence. We will list all the products in the description box below, so make sure to check it out. The rice bed you are seeing in the back is our wild flower bed. We have sowed some annual and perennial flowers that will attract bees and birds. We're using cattle panel and some fence fork post clips. To secure the fence, these clips don't come with instructions on how to fix them, but they're super easy to fix. Use a screwdriver or pliers to tighten the fence fork post clips. Use fork post clips in two or three different places and secure them with fence post. Next, we tilted the ground and added soil to level them. We are marking the area to place our raised bed. We've got some ready to build raised beds. These are boards and posts to pound it. The first one we are going to fix is an eight by four bed. Place the posts and side in the boards and pound all the sides. We are using non-treated, rot-resistant cedar wood for our raised bed. We fix the base. We are going to flip the bed and staple weed barrier landscape fabric. Flip the bed and finish building it. We've also secured the weed barrier landscape fabric with garden staples. This bed is ready. Next, we're going to fix our second bed. For this, we're simply placing the weed barrier landscape fabric on the ground and securing it with lawn staples. This is much more easier. Repeat the same procedure to install this bed. We are covering weed barrier landscape fabric with cardboard to avoid any weed growth in the bed. We are adding some of the leaf mulch we collected from last year and we are going to spread it evenly.
We're also going to cover this leaf mulch with newspaper over a period of time. Everything will become into organic matter. Next, we are going to fill half of the bed with soil. We are using composted mushroom soil. The top 6 inch, we are adding vermiculite and slow release fertilizer along with the mushroom soil. Dump everything and level the soil. We have constructed the beds and filled it with soil and watering the soil. We will be leaving this for two to three days before transplanting our plants. We have more soil and room in our garden, so we decided to construct two more beds. I mean, what could go wrong? For that, we got cedar board from local hardware stores, and we cut them up into 8x4 and 6x4 boards. We are using some half an inch of L brackets to nail them. Ta-da! All our beds are finally ready for planting. Next, we're going to add some pine bark mulch on the walking area around the bed. This smells really fresh and looks super beautiful. Much better than the playground mulch. Oh, would you look at that? Our little helper is helping us setting this garden. Personally, I think this is the fun part and here it comes. We're going to install gates to our garden. For that, we are using the, these fence gates. We also want to protect our garden from small little animals that want to eat our delicious hard work. Even though little bunnies and squirrels are cute, they can go through these gaps. So we decided to cover these gaps with fine wire. First, you're going to mark the wire and cut the wire like this. Did you know it's easy to cut this wire with a regular pair of scissors? Now trust me on this. At first I was questioning myself whether these scissors could cut this wire and I was amazed by the results. We are securing this with a couple of zip ties. We measured the gate and simply installed the post to tie the gate.
Next, we are going to add in Deer X protection kneading for gardens and secure them with garden staples. Next, we are marking the raised bed for making square foot garden. We nailed some one inch panel nails. And using cotton twine, Square Foot Garden is ready for planting. We're digging a three inch hole and we're adding a teaspoon of vermi casting from our verm bin. If you haven't watched our vermi composting video, make sure to click the suggested video that pops up. Gently push the plants and transplant them into their new home. Water the plants daily and let's wait until it's ready for harvest. Make sure to stay connected with us to find more videos on food and gardening. If you like our channel, please then like, share, comment, subscribe, and don't forget our videos.